Welcome back to Hawk Talk. We're back with Coach Stanton. Coach, another another week, another conference win. Take us through that one a little bit. Well, we, we played well again. You know, we uh, got up to a good start. But then we uh, played, played good defense in that first half and, and held them to you know, several three and outs. Our offense uh, you know, got that initial score and did a good job there. We took the win the first possession, uh, which we wanted to make sure that they went into the win. And that helped. That worked to our advantage. And then, of course, the big play was you know, Kane Bushy intercepting that. Six and, and, and giving us a two-score lead, and, and then Josh got the field goal. Too. So we were we were in pretty good shape. I thought that we did a good job there. And then the second half, we we played well in the third quarter, and, and uh, you know got it to a 31-0 game. And then in the fourth quarter, you know we've it's that time of year where we want to make sure that we keep our guys healthy. So we really uh, layered and, and pulled a lot of our guys out. We got a lot of good backups and gave them the opportunity to play. And then you know, they got a couple scores at the end against our, our younger guys, but we did a good job. Uh, uh, now we've had we've seen the dual quarterback system all year and kind of threw in another one there. Uh, take us through Kaler finally getting out, getting a chance to throw the ball a little bit. Uh, yeah, had a nice touchdown pass. Yeah, Kaler's a great leader for us and, and you know, hit that nice pass to Dalton Green into the win and that was a big play for us. That was a, that was a, you know what we really needed at that time. And, you know, Kaler's a leader and, and been a guy that's played a lot of snaps for us and, and uh, won the will. And so with you know Rob Sterling has been a guy that's just puts a lot of stress and stretches the defense, and so we're gonna, no matter who the quarterback is during the year, he'll, he's gonna be one of them. And, and uh, you know, Kayla was healthy enough to go. He's still not quite there yet, but we used him in some situations, and he did a good job. All right, finally, finally, we we're able to crack the top 25. Uh, talk a little bit about the polls and, and the, whether or not they they play any role in the preparation. Not, not, not really. Uh, no, we haven't definitely haven't talked about that at all. It's nice for the program to, you know, after five years to, to be back and, and being mentioned there. But, uh, you know, I guess the most important polls are at the end of the year or, or you know, when teams are looking at postseason type of things, which we haven't uh, even thought about as well. We're just trying to take uh, one game at a time. And obviously this game is Jamestown and, you know, team went to we had a 24-14 game with, uh, last time. And, you know, we saw a team in our conference lose to another team in the conference that they beat 55-6. Two weeks earlier, so we, we our, our guys are fully aware of that and fully aware of uh, the task at hand. And James time to be fired up for their homecoming, so we're we're focused on that right now. All righty, that's next on the docket. Jamestown hasn't been, haven't been on the road for a while. Uh, now we got two straight road trips. So talk a, talk a little bit about getting back, uh, traveling well, the east. Yeah, yeah, we've been fortunate to have three out of four at home. And it was nice to get that homecoming win, but uh, you know the reality is you gotta you gotta go on the road and you gotta go on the road and play well and. Uh, you know, we've, we've, we've gone a couple times, and, and uh, you know, with Valley City, and, and excuse me, with, the, with, with the presentation and Rocky, and, and we've traveled well so far, and, and uh, you know, that's we just kind of keep that keep that going. I think it's important when you go on the road that you uh, not only play well, but you travel well. And we've got a good bunch of guys that have, you know, know what the task is at hand, and they know the task at hand is, is Jamestown uh, this weekend, and uh, we've had a good week of practice getting ready for them. All righty, see you out there. Thank you, coach. Thank you. We're back on Hawk Talk, joined by two guests here. We got our giant Buster the Blue Hawk in the back, and we got a member of our football team. Want to introduce yourself? How are you guys doing? I'm Robert Sterling. Now, what position do you play? I'm interested to hear the answer to this question. Uh, well, I play a few. I play, uh, well, I just started playing quarterback this year, but uh, I started my career off uh, here as a defensive back, so I kind of play both. How's that been? Balancing both sides of the ball. Uh, I, it's kind of different every week, you know. When, uh, basically, I just do what the coaches tell me to do. I mean, if they want me to play defensive back this game, I'll play DB. Or if they want me to play quarterback, then I'll just play quarterback. But it's kind of their call, you know. Did you played both ways in high school? Uh, yeah, I, I played. Actually, in high school, I played a few positions. I played uh, quarterback, I played receiver. I'll play uh, defensive back, safety. I even long snap. <laughs> Careful, don't don't go off for any suggestions. We we already got Seth back at punter, so we can just have both quarterbacks and lots of different options for a fake punt there. But just just take us through the the start of the conference season. You got off to a great start, uh, three and zero so far. Just take us through some of those games. Uh, well, uh, it's just been a, a great group effort. You know, everyone's been you know doing their thing out there. Uh, 
defensive wise, I feel like we have a, a good, good, solid defense all around. You know, uh, they they keep us in the games. You know, a lot in offense. You know, we're coming together. You know, uh, we're more. I feel uh, a run first type of offense. You know, pass second. But uh, we, we get. I guess we get the job done. You know, and, uh, like I said, it's a group effort. Everyone's doing you know their job, and it's kind of all coming together. Yeah, a lot of different teams have had struggles with the dual quarterback system. Doesn't seem to be much of an issue um, for you guys. Kind of take us through that dynamic of having two now, even three uh, different people in the huddle there. Uh, it could be the quarterback. Uh, well, uh, I feel like we all can do our jobs. Uh, I feel like uh, each one of us have our own little, you know, special, unique talent that uh, brings to the, you know, the offense. You know? Uh, me, I kind of, you know, I can use my legs more than, you know, the others. And I feel like, uh, Seth and uh, Kayla have, you know, great arms. And I don't know, I, the way I look at it, however, you know, we scheme for that uh, week, you know, it's, it's going to go off like, you know, start quarterback, who's going to play quarterback. You know, it's all scheme-wise. You know, like I said, we're the coaches this All right, did I notice you had a special fan in the crowd this last weekend? Oh, yeah, my mother. Yeah, my mom. She finally got a chance to come out and see me. You know, she never got a chance to see me play college football. So. She got to see you play yeah. quite a bit all, all over the place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was stoked for that. All righty, take us, give us a brief look ahead. Uh, Jamestown, I already faced him once. Uh, what, what do you got coming for the Jimmies? Uh, they were good. I, I actually think, you know, it's their homecoming, actually. Uh, we're going to play them this Saturday, and it's their homecoming. So, you know, we don't take no team for, you know, no team lightly at all. Like, any team could, I feel like, can beat you in this conference, you know. So you got to go out, go out there and just, you know, take it. I, uh, I like to say, like, take it, you know, day day by day, like, game planning for them. But, like, that's what we've been doing very well this whole, you know, season is game planning for teams. And our coach has been doing a real good job, too. So, I don't know. I feel like we're going to go out there, you know, and continue to try to do what we've been doing all year. And I feel kind of confident. All right, good luck. See you out there. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're back with Hawk Talk. We're in Silky Hall, one of the male dormitories here on campus. Also the home of one of our golfers. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is uh, Taylor Ellsburn, and I'm a freshman here at DSU, golfing for the Blue Hawks, and I'm proud to be here. And our first uh, beginning of the season was it's interesting, fun, exciting, and I'm ready for the spring season to begin. Yeah, we'll just kind of quickly recap what, what we went through this fall. Um, talk about some of the highs and lows of your, your first season, of course. Um, well, a high for me was, well, the finishing was easily a high for me. Kind of starting to get the feel of college golf itself and um, a lot of the higher competition that you have to face. And I played much better in the final round or meet to our conference meet. And the lower was kind of, kind of a start. It was kind of a rough start, not just for me. We, we all kind of had a rough beginning, but I think towards the end, we made a lot of improvements this year. And like I said, I'm excited for the spring season. Sure. Um, talk about some of the different fun moments that, that happened this fall, you know, with, I know my personal favorite hotel in Jamestown with the water slide. Uh, just talk about some of the different things we do off the course that that kind of make make it worthwhile on the course. Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, we do as a team, like you said, off the course that are a lot of fun, especially just on our trips, our bus rides, and uh, like you said the hotel and the water ride, swimming with each other. And another thing is, I don't know, everyone, I, I have no problem with anyone on the team. I've gotten along with everyone really well, especially Casey Pearson, she's hilarious, fun to follow. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's been a great experience, I don't know, just, getting to sit down, going out to eat with them, and talk not only about golf, but why they're here, and what they think about everything. Too. Sure. Uh, now, golf wasn't your only sport in high school. Uh, pretty good hockey hockey player yourself. You get to try to, try to play a little hockey uh, in the off season here? <laughs> yeah, I did play hockey. I played for 15 years. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's... I am going to try and play in the City League here, uh, up at the rec center. All right, so if you wanna if you wanna join up with with Taylor, he's he's well experienced. He's got I've heard all the accolades, couple couple different uh, state championships I think. So if you wanna join up with him, I'm sure he's glad to have you. 
Looking forward to the start of the spring with the pretty exciting trip down to Arizona. What have you heard about that? Um, I just heard it's a fun trip with a lot of golf. Definitely a lot of golf. And I'm really excited because I know there's endless amounts of courses you can play in Arizona. And I've always wanted to go down and play. And I'm looking forward to it. Alrighty, well, nice start to the year. Glad to have you here. Thank you.